Now, while the South Korean government and President Moon himself have rolled out the red carpet treatment for President Trump, thousands of Koreans took to the streets of Seoul. On Tuesday, it was a mixture of pro and anti Trump rallies. The demonstrations staged over the past few days show the depth of mixed feelings South Koreans have over Trump's stance on North Korea. Our Park Hee Jun reports. Day one of U.S. President Donald Trump's visit to South Korea. Despite the government's request for the public to refrain from intense protests and a full strength police force in the city, large crowds have gathered close to the Blue House to march in protest. Thousands took to the streets of Seoul, holding signs with anti war slogans, fearing the outspoken and controversial leader could disturb the peace on the Korean peninsula by threatening North Korea with his provocative words. This comes after months of tensions between the U.S. and North Korea, with both countries threatening to destroy each other. We are against Trump because he raises the possibility of war and even encourages the use of destructive weapons. These demonstrations began across the country last weekend. Protesters holding placards reading No Trump, No War and shouting that they want peace. The level of emotion shows that the majority of South Koreans want the nuclear crisis resolved through diplomacy, not bombs. But along with those messages, there were also many who were delighted with his visit. Although smaller in scale, conservative groups in favor of Trump welcomed the U.S. president in the belief that his actions may lead to the denuclearization of North Korea. I like that President Trump considers North Korea as the greatest enemy, like we do, and that he attempts to destroy the regime. A candlelight protest also took place in the evening near Gwangamun Square, following Trump's path, continuing to the Grand Hyatt where he stayed the night. And the gatherings are expected to continue until Wednesday near the National Assembly, where President Trump is scheduled to give his speech. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.